Welcome back to beginning ASP.NET Core 3.0. This section is on using Entity Framework Core. This video is installing and configuring SQL Server Local DB. In this video, we will install SQL Server Local DB, we will configure Local DB, and we will test Local DB. SQL Server Express Edition is the entry level free database and is ideal for learning and building small websites like this one. Express Edition can be upgraded to the full SQL Server if the database you are working on grows out of hand. For this application, we will be using LocalDB, which is a lightweight version of Express that has all of its programmability features and has a fast zero configuration install and small lists of prerequisites. First, let's navigate to https colon slash slash www.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash sql dash server slash sql dash server dash editions Dash express. Once on the page, click the Download Now button and click Run. Once the initial installer has downloaded, select Download Media. On the Download Media screen, select Local DB and click the Download button. Once the download finishes, click the Open Folder button. Then double click on SQLLocalDB.msi. Click Next on the Welcome screen. Accept the license agreement, then click Next. Finally, click the Install button, and then click Finish once the SQL Server Local DB has been installed. Next, we need to download the latest cumulative update for SQL Server. Go to https colon slash slash www.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash download slash details dot aspx question mark ID equals 56128. Scroll down and click the download button. Then click the run button. Click the I accept license terms. Click next button. For select features, accept defaults and click next. We will check for files in use then click Next. Finally, it's ready to update. Click the Update button. An update will progress. After it's completed, click the Close button. That's all there is to installing SQL Server Local DB on your computer. Next, let's install the SQL Server extension in Visual Studio Code. With Visual Studio Code open, click on the Extensions button. And in the search extensions in Marketplace, type in MS SQL. The SQL Server extension will appear. Click the Install button. Then click Reload to complete the installation of the extension. Now let's open a new document and change its type to SQL. Press Ctrl K and then M to bring up the Language Mode dialog. Scroll down and select SQL and it will install the SQL Tools service. Go ahead and close the output dialog. Next, let's connect to our SQL Server. Press Control shift p to bring up the command palette in Visual Studio Code, and type sqlcon for the Microsoft SQL Connect. We want to create a connection profile. For the server name, type parentheses local db parentheses backslash ms SQL local db, and then press enter. Press enter on the database to connect. We want integrated authentication, and just press enter to accept the default name for this profile. You can see at the bottom the profile was created and connected. Now that we've connected to our local database, let's test the local database. First, let's do a simple query to show that it works. Use the code snippet SQL create database. We will call this database hello. Press Control Shift E to run it, and in the right hand task pane, you will see commands successfully completed. You can close this results pane. Now that we've created a database, let's use that database. Press Control Shift P and type SQL use and select the hello database from the drop down list. In the bottom right, you can see local DB. MS SQL local DB colon hello. 
That means that we are working with the Hello database. Select all and delete the contents of this untitled document. Next, let's create a table to work with. In the editor, type SQL create table and press enter. And we're going to call this table name users and the schema name will be DBO. In the create table on line 10, we're going to name the first column username and the second column on line 11, we're going to call it full name. Now press Control Shift E to execute the query. Commands completed successfully. You can close this results tab. Next, let's select all and delete so that we can enter a new query. This time we're going to add a column into this table that we just created. We type insert into users, parentheses, square bracket, users ID, square bracket, comma space, square bracket, username, and full name. Then we want to insert the values. And go. Then press Control Shift E to execute the query. And again on the right, you will see one row affected. Now that we've added a column into the database, let's read that column back. Select all and delete, and then type select u.userID, u.username, and u.fullname from DBO users as u and go. Then press Control Shift E and the results table will appear showing our one row. That's all there is to it, to making sure that our database works. Let's go ahead and clean up, close this results panel, and in the query panel, Control A to select all. Then press Control Shift P, select SQL Use Database, select the master database, then type drop database, hello, and go. Then press Control Shift E to delete our database that we just created. Commands completed successfully.